very good morning to you and welcome to Sporty Monday. My name is Mukami Wambora and, and I have to say it's good to be back. We have so much on the cards for you this morning from marathon to football to rugby to Formula One. It's an action-packed show and to join me and to discuss all of this, I have my very able sports analysts, Karibu Sada, Steve Shitara. Asante Mukami and the welcome back. <laughs> it's good to see you. Asante. It's good to see you in Cairo, but and it's also good to see you here. Uh, at home because uh, you, you, you are left in Cairo. <laughs> Do you plan to go back? Probably. Uh, Some, someday in the future. Yeah. Ken Erickson, Karibu Sana. I'm in Kosawa, Kama, Shuja, Dubai. Chelsea? Uh, Chelsea, I'm not sure if I'm going variation. Chelsea, I'm going to end up with Shuja. Shuja, I'm going to end up with the team in Kenya Premier League. Osawa. We'll talk about all of that. And George, welcome back. Thank you so much. I think, Shitara, I want us to start with Gormahia Cup, Confederations Cup. They are out. You know, mm -hmm. they drew 1-1 one, one yeah. with the Congolese side and you are in the stadium. Yeah. Um, what were your thoughts on that game? Uh, I would say that uh, so many missed chances, uh, so many chances were created, but up front, uh, Gormahia was blunt. Uh, Omala, Ulimwengu, so many chances that were not converted and I think uh, it's the same problem that haunted uh, Tasca uh, in Tunisia. Same problem. They only need, needed a 1-1 one, one draw uh, to qualify on an away uh, goal rule, but they failed to score. Uh, they failed to score here in Kenya. The game ended 0-0. Uh, so that shows you that um, our coaches across the clubs will need to concentrate on uh, uh, their striking options because uh, we are having uh, a drought up front. Uh, Gormahia, Tasca, and I think all are out. Uh, no uh, continental championship for clubs in Kenya. No continental or international, uh, of course, competition for Arambe Stars. So we have a point of going back to the drawing board uh, and uh, ask ourselves, where did we go wrong in 2020-2021? What do we need to do right for 2021-2022? And uh, we really need to plan uh, properly because it has been a, a downward trend now. Because you remember, uh, Gormahia uh, gave it a very good show two seasons ago. Uh, only losing it to Berkane due to traveling logistics and uh, it has been going down. So Kenyan football, I might say it has a lot of fortunes, but uh, unfortunately, uh, administration wise has really suffocated the football in Kenya. George, we're seeing there were a lot of fans during that game. What does that mean for Kenyan football to have those fans back in the in the stadium? Well, ha well, having fans back in the stadium feels good. Actually, the euphoria, the the dancing and support, it's always nice. It was, it's always nice. And actually, when the fans started seeing, seeing the anthem, the Congolese were a bit scared. But I think they came in with a game plan to frustrate Gormaya in terms of time wasting, uh, killing momentum, which which always happens. They did the Arab, what the Arabs always do. I think they 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 they, 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 they know football is business and. We with the 27 million at stake, they were very sure they wanted that cash. Actually, it, it takes a little more to make a champion, but Gormaya did very little in this case. Their, their own undoing was uh, in the first place registering few players. You can't register 16 players and yet you've bought great internationals who are sitting on the bench getting cash and yet they can't help you during continental levels. Actually, the Congolese were very beatable. Mm -hmm. They were very beatable only that we, we couldn't take our chances. And uh, we have to remind Sami Pamzo Molo and his head coach, Mark, that uh, Omala is not the alpha striker we are looking for. Gormaya had the likes of uh, Kagere, Tuisenge, guys who were in the box and any cross floated here, it was always a goal. The likes of Olunga. There was a time Gormaya had like eight internationals in the first 11, both from Kenya and across East Africa, right? But right now you look at Gormaya and you're like, how many internationals do we have here? Only Shakava, who is not even a, 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 a uh, who is not a, always a, a sure starter international team. So actually it's very bad, uh, it's disappointing. The, 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 the goal they conceded very fast uh, actually uh, dis disoriented them. Because when, he, when you're chasing the game, you know you need only a 2-0 a two win, then all of a sudden the opponents beat you at home, they, they score fast. It means uh, you have to uh, rejuggle your game plan. Actually they panicked because they felt now we need three goals. Where is this coming from? So actually it's bad. Uh, Tasca also lost away. Uh, I understand it was, a, it was a penalty. 
you never know too much about the Arabs. You never know. I, I didn't watch that much. I, I looked for the link all over, but I didn't get it. So actually, it's unfortunate, but it, it still means that we have to go back to the drawing board, just like he said. We are on a downward, down, down, downward spiral, and uh, the soonest you know that football is business, we buy players who will do business for us, and ensure we get that cash, the better. Mm. But, you know, uh, why should we rely on international players? That's what I'm wondering. Why shouldn't we rely on local talent? Are, we, are you following the same route as Nick Mwenda when he was saying there's no talent? No, we have Canada. talent, but South it, Africa. we have talent, but you don't have enough for the international stage. Look at, it, look, look at the likes of of uh, al Ahli, Zamalek. They always have the best from south and west, right? Because that's where the best footballers are found. Actually, look at even the European setup. Madrid has uh, like uh, five guys from different countries like the alpha guys from but Kina why Benzema. do we, uh, england themselves have that mm. cap like you have to have some local players in each team it's to encourage La, the growth from junior from the top so i think england but kenya nsl nsl kenya premier league ni players nani unaona wanaweza anza kwa ile team ya gorma kwangu nafikiri ni ile strategy imepigwa na football kenya federation hapa kwetu kwa sababu ukiangalia the likes of uh, zamalek na alhali ukiangalia players wa wote wa kutoka egypt ukiangalia timu za kutoka morocco tunisia wote wa kutoka uh, tunisia uh, so i think structure zetu hapa kenya ziko chini sana na ukiangazia kama timu ya fc leopards ambayo ni timu ambayo tulikuwa tunajifunia sana kucheza kwa shemeji inapigwa na bidco so i think hapa uh, kwetu structures ziko chini sana na structures za um, ukiangalia za huko warabuni ziko different sana na hapa kenya na ukiangalia ya timu pia kama ya eh, Tanzania hapa hivi the, like, uh, the likes of Akina Simba pia wanafanya hivyo kwa hivyo nafikiri England ndi ndio timu imeanza kwa wale players wao kwa sababu ukiangalia pia midi yao player yote tu akitoka hivi kidogo one bisaka na uzo 50 million pounds ukiangalia the likes of Maguire wana uzo pesa mingi wana support their own but yeah. sisi wa Kenya but, but I, will, I, will, I will also say that football is about marketing. Look at how the English have marketed their football. Sure. I liked what Ramogi TV did yesterday. It's a step in the right direction because uh, we are marketing football. And the moment uh, you kill marketing out of it, who will see you? I want to say that structures again in football is something that we really need to look at. Uh, look at uh, uh, the, the, the FKF has been depending on uh, organizers uh, like Chapa Dimba and Safari Komu have done a very good job. Omala, as you speak, is a product of the Copa Chap Coca Cola, right? Yeah, Chapa Dimba, yeah. yeah. yeah it's yeah. a Chapa Dimba product. Sure. Um, the likes of Gentrix Chicago is a Chapa Dimba product. And for the last two seasons, I think uh, the tournament has not happened because uh, of uh, the COVID 19 protocols. But I'm hoping it will return because yeah. and we it was a very rely good. On we shouldn't, you we shouldn't should rely on. And individuals, uh, people like uh, Baraza in Western uh, organizing a tournament. Uh, so that you can get players and it's something that I, I really need to say that uh, as we look forward for a new office in the FKF these are the things that we need to do mm. we were with you in Cairo uh, children as early as three years they know that I have a talent in football sure. and they don't only go to the stadium to play football they have classes they go for theory classes and then practical classes in the field. Actually, Shitera, uh, FKF tried that, the, 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 the footballing and classes at the same time, but I, I don't know where I reached here. We had those, those, those under, those yeah, under the, 17 the guys. The center of excellence. Yeah, sure. um, yeah. Yeah. Actually, we had kids who were there. I went to watch them at Wadi Degla. Actually, they were, they were playing nice football. You did? But, yeah, I did. Yeah. So they it's something nice that football, we really need to invest. I'm looking forward to promotion. Yeah. Yeah. You can't tell me Ule Jama under 17 in Noma, but when, where is the transition? So how, when, when did you realize into it? the national yeah. team? Yeah. So, so I guess about, that's what we really just, need just to enough, move for. Um, because there's not a lot sure, of time. Sure, we sure. need to keep moving. KPL results. Ken Erickson, you mentioned AFC Leopards. They lost 1-0 to Bidco. We also have Sofa Park. I think we might have the graphics for those results. Um, Zito 1-0 to Ulinzi Stars. Then we have Madara United losing to Talanta, Talanta beating Madara United 2-1. Um, then we have KCB. They also beat Vihiga 3-1. So that was the weekend's result. FKF PL back. I don't know. Is it even called FKF PL anymore? <laughs> is it KPL? But um, George, moving forward, how is this season going to play out? Because now it looks like everything is up in the air. Actually, with the caretaker committee, we can even call it the Ringera League. 
let's see what happens because uh, <laughs> <laughs> we had a ringera commission. We suspended leave for three weeks <laughs> and yet you know very well will pile up matches. Actually, thank God Gormai and Tasca out because uh, with these matches piling up, it means we wouldn't have done, we wouldn't been done with the mid-season and actually the calendar would have been, would have moved forward. So moving forward, I think uh, we just need good management. I understand KPL are warming up to coming back into to be to managing the league. They are bargaining, you know, kina Jaco Guda, kina Taiwa Tieno. So let's hope for the best. But what I can say right now is let's put our best foot forward. We, we, we got grants of 300,000. Uh, down from 800,000 every month after the, the, the sponsors left. After the, is it Bet King, right? Bet King left. So actually, uh, moving forward, we need to just uh, put our house in order. Let every team play to their best. We know we don't have enough cash, but you can't keep crying. A team like AFC Leopards, they lost 13 first team players. You lose three goalkeepers, at least two internationals. Omunuk and, uh, no, no, sorry, Omunuk, the Ugandan Ochan. goalkeeper, Ochan, then uh, Jeff Oyemba. And uh, this guy went to Bitco. Oh, I don't know, I can't remember his name, but when you lose 13 players and then you have kids, you go for trials and bring in uh, guys who are not that good actually for the league because you don't have cash to pay them. Actually, there's a guy you used to play amateur football with. He's now playing at center back at FC Leopards. <laughs> no, I'm, not say, I'm not saying he's bad, but if you went for trials and made it, it means you the, could coach, have made, you, the coach saw something good in him. <laughs> not me. Actually, me, my knees are almost reaching sell by date. So this kid, <laughs> he can play center back, he can play right back. He's called Ocheng. Ocheng, yeah. his nickname is... Uh, <laughs> Ken Erickson, should we be focusing on bringing in now a, a manager that is being paid such a high salary like Patrick or Sams when the players aren't getting paid and he doesn't even have the arsenal he needs to take him now maybe to continental level? I think you need to point yangu na leta mzungu kwa kikosi si vibaya kuleta mzungu kwa kikosi but ukiangalia wale players kama vinyo umesema that team players wamedoka kwa kikosi but unapata ile mshahara ya kulipa huyo mzungu so i think pia management yenyewe ya club hata tusiende sana kwa FKL tuangalie kwa vilabu kwa sababu ukiangalia kama wewe ni chairman wa FC Leopards na unaleta anaitwa Shikanda na unaleta mzungu hapa kwa kwa kikosi na una 13 players na kumbuka kuna ukisema trials za Kenya ya trai za Kenya nani hapa moyenda trai za Kenya surely ukienda trai za Kenya wale wase uliona ukiwa kama tukua nationals as a Kakamega high school wakicheza na tuseme another high school ndio players wanakuja kwa ile trai na wanaingia kwa team so nafikiri pia management ya ile team inafaa kuinaangaliwa sana ukiangalia easy team ziko na corporate ukiangalia the likes of KCB ukiangalia Bidco ni club ambazo zinainuka sasa juu wako na ile do wako na do kutoka kwa corporate but ukiangalia zile community clubs AFC Leopards Madari United ni zo club zinaenda chini. Kwangu mimi nadhani management na pia eh, watu wa marketing wenye wanaambiwa wana shitero waweze kuingia kwa ile eh, ligi ama kwa timu ya za Kenya Premier League ili tuweze kupata ma corporate ambao wataingia wainue club kama KCB nadhani KCB the likes of akina Abidco watafanya poa sana kuliko the likes of community clubs kama vile FC Talanta ukiangalia uh, the likes of akina FC Leopards. So nadhani wale corporate wakiingia kwa Kenya Premier League Kenya Premier League itarudi pale ilikuwa. I remember someone made an interesting point, and I can't remember who, but they were saying they want a situation in Kenya where a club shouldn't be Tasca FC, it shouldn't be KCB FC, it shouldn't, the corporate should not have the, own the name of the club. It should be from the hometown, from wherever that club is coming from, and then the co corporate sponsors come in. Shitera, is that a situation we can foresee in Kenya? Because Actually, I made that point, but again, <laughs> yeah, I'm the one who made that point, but again, but again, uh, the, 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 the question is, uh, how, how do I trust you with my investment? You see, that is the question. You have just asked about FC Leopards. I task you with my money, but again, you look uh, at uh, hiring a, a coach, you know you have some kickback. Yeah, when you hire an international coach, but when you hire a local coach, you know there is no so much uh, uh, transaction in it. So we really need to clean up ourselves first. Let us be honest to uh, the game. Then we can move forward. I asked the question, uh, the same question I asked when uh, Kimanzi was sacked. I asked the same question. Why was um, uh, Kimani uh, relieved of his duties at AFC Leopard? He was doing so well. But again, give credit to Osems because I doubt if he's really getting uh, the salary we are talking about. <laughs> but uh, I'm very sure he's pushed by the passion. But 
we had a lot of trust in Dan Shikanda. He was here and promised to win uh, the league uh, the, the, the following season. Which Actually, he even promised to give each, a, each yeah. and every player a, a, a flat. Which, like. never, which he never did. But instead of winning the league, he lost 13 players. You see, there is something wrong with our Kenyan football. Dan Shikanda is a former player. Yeah? So we think that being a player, you knew the problems these players go through. We task you with uh, uh, the chairmanship. Uh, you will manage football well, but see what is happening. Actually, at I would say this. Yeah? If, if maybe the corporates come in and let's say maybe we have Tasker branded to Gidura EFC because due to Thika Rodia, let's have the idea that the corporate guys will bring their own managers to ensure that you are accountable. Not the idea of this are, is our thing. In Yetu. In Yetu, yeah? Kogalo ni Yetu, we have to put Jangos there. Uh, if Ingwe ni Yetu, we have to put Lunches there. Let's have corporate managers well and sure and you are accountable for what they are doing. Mm -hmm. Actually, if breweries put their cash there, they bring in a guy, maybe even an outsider. An outsider will make sure you guys play to the tune. You can't tell me that uh, we, are, we are playing CAF. You know very well you won the FKF Cup or the FK League, but you have not registered 23 players. You have 16 players. Then you come here and tell us we had a lean, we had a lean squad. Yeah. What do you mean? But there is a time uh, Mumias Sugar did that uh, with the FC Leopards. They used to pay uh, salaries Direct. as if they were employees of uh, Mumias Sugar. But again, uh, for how long? Because football management uh, is very key. Mm. Uh, you remember when now uh, sponsors started uh, pulling out, it's when now trouble started brewing. And you get a team like Tasca, a team like KCB, a team like uh, a Bidgo, a team like Bandari. Uh, most of the players are like employees and uh, even the coach is like an employee. He's accountable to the team. Uh, I think uh, the likes of Matano gets their salary. Uh, the, the, the HR who pays uh, the accountant is the HR who pays Matano. Sure. So I think in terms of management, it's very easy. And you've never had uh, issues, uh, finances in, in those, in those, in those uh, clubs. I think that is why the likes of Akinataska took that direction because when I I take my money and give you uh, how how accountable will you be? That is sure. the biggest but question. But talking of yeah. hiring, Let's, hiring international coaches. Last point. Yeah, sure. I, I don't think it's a bad idea bringing in international coaches who have uh, experience and uh, better better knowledge of the game. They always uh, they always help even the the, the the younger coaches from us. Like maybe Pamzo has been assistant to Zico has been assistant to several uh, uh, Jungus and actually is trying is doing good right now at KCB. So you, when you bring in, when you bring in, uh, an international coach, we, you have the budget. So it, it's not that bad, but let's ensure that by the time you bring him, you are sure you'll pay him. Actually, Anthony Kimani left AFC because he felt like he's, he's being used to like an intern every time. You, you, you steer the team so well, you're at number two, then all of a sudden, Ajungu is brought here, then you're told you'll be his assistant. He had to take a walk because he also needs to grow as a coach. Yeah. 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 But I'll, I'll disagree on you with that. I think something I love about South Africans is how they believe in themselves, they yes. trust in themselves, yes. their yes. coaches are South Africans, yes. the players want to remain in the PSL. And I think that's why we need to go. We, can't, we don't have to trust mm. internationals, foreigners coming in. As Kimanzi is a local coach. Yes, and and he, know, he, he did well against Egypt. What, yeah. why do, oh, doing well against hey. Egypt, why, why did he take us to AFCON? <laughs> Remember, we were on the road to AFCON. You just don't wake up and wow. go to AFCON. <laughs> Kimanzi had prepared a team that I was sure, I was very sure, would have beaten Comoros home and away. That was a direct qualification. Yeah. But the moment you dislodge a coach uh, from his... Uh, a coach that drew yeah, with Egypt. With Egypt. We have... We, we, we have Kimani. We, we have, replaced Kimani with Ghost. We have... We have and, and, and Ghost <laughs> never lost a match. We replaced...